everyone has a love language they prefer. A love language is the way that you like to be loved. It could be physical touch, it could be a gifts you like to receive, it could be the way people talk to you. It's just a good feeling you get when you know somebody loves you. But do you know what your four-legged friend's love language is? Perhaps it could be uh, toys you're buying for them or being not played with or food you're buying for them is not being eaten or scratches you're trying to give them they're not too interested in. To help you learn how to better connect with your pet through their love language, we spoke with CEO and owner of Dr. Kelly's surgical unit, Douglas Patrick Quinn. Starting with physical touch. It consists of belly scratches, ear squishes, petting just in general, all kinds of just busy touching your animal. And you may think all pets love belly rubs, but how do you know for sure? Cats will arch their back up. It's a pretty common thing to do. Or the dog will actually come seek it out and often put their face in your hand or a jump right up on your lap and, and roll over looking for that belly rub. Next, acts of service. The things you do with them, throwing of the ball, taking them for walks. They're interested in engaging what you're doing. They want the physical attention that you're giving them beyond just touching them, but more like playing with them and being involved in what they're up to. And to be sure this is their love language, watch for their reactions. Some pets, some dogs particularly, will go get the leash when they know it's time. They'll bring it over to you. They're standing by the door. You can tell that that's what they're interested in. Dogs that are really interested in ball behavior would go get the ball, bring it to you or bring you the toy that they're most interested in playing with. Your pet's love language might also be gifts. Essentially, items that you might share or bring for your pet to play with. The Chewy box that arrived, you go to the local retail store and you buy little trinkets that squish or bounce. Gifts can also be given in the form of treats. Little treats that reward your pet for doing good behavior, to get them to perform a certain act for you, or as a, just a gentle reminder of how much you love them, is wonderful. And lastly, words of affirmation. That would be, in our eyes, when speaking to a pet, the kind languages. It might be the little boo-boo-boos or the little, the, the little high-pitched noises. And to tell words of affirmation, is their preferred language? Dogs tend to be a little bit more emotional. That You can tell they come over, their tails are wagging. The way they produce their reactions is significantly more visual. Cats are the same way. When they get up close to you and you're saying those words of affirmation, they might purr, they might create a, a more touching reaction that lets you know that it's something they enjoy. We are learning your pets. Love language.